you. I pray his favor. I pray the blood of Jesus will come upon you right now. Keep you in the chair. God, I thank you for your blessings. T.D. Jakes is a whole and a pedophile. He has defied others. He has used boys willingly and against their will. If Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or sex. The world of celebrities often intertwines with controversy, but when the spotlight shines on unexpected alliances and cryptic relationships, it's hard not to be captivated recently. A storm erupted when former Bad Boy Records artist turned Pastor May stepped into the fry-shedding light on a complex web involving music mogul Diddy and the influential pastor T.D. Jake. It all began with the aftermath of Cassie's lawsuit drop which put Diddy under intense scrutiny speculations were rife that he might imp Licate several others in his legal woes, including names like Young Miami and former Bad Boy Records president Harve Pierre, however. Amidst the chatter, the spotlight dimmed on one figure Diddy's close confident T. DJs, it turns out the divine intercessor has occasionally spotted at Diddy parties. Having some quality time with guests, who male strippers the scrutiny around T.D. Jake, wasn't new even before the recent controversies eyebrows were raised about his unorthodox conduct as a pastor, his emphasis. On wealth pensant for celebrity company and particularly close bond with fueled whispers about more than just a spiritual connection, their friendship traces back to the days of Diddy's relationship with Kim Porter, culminating in the preacher officiating at Kim's funeral, yet questions linger about. Jakes's regular appearances at Diddy's notorious parties renowned for their extravagance and alleged wild happenings, singer Jaguar Wright was among the first to question T.D. Jakes's presence, hints at Meister. Terry's lurking within Diddy's inner circle rumors of a secret society involving Diddy and the pastor gained traction, especially after a photo from T.I.'s birthday party went viral with speculations of an alleged initiation ritual. Then Pastor Mace, a former collaborator with Diddy, made headlines by exposing what he claimed was the real nature of the relationship between Diddy and T.D. Jake, his revelations shed light on rituals involving nudity and what he cryptically referred to as gay rituals these at. Allegations raised eyebrows and ignited debates about the nature of their connection amidst accusations of unpaid dues and a narrative portraying base as a fraudulent pastor his disclosures created a stir they spurred discussion about the peculiar relationship between Diddy and Jake fans expressed. Disbelief that even figures expected to uphold moral standards were associated with such controversial gatherings, the public reaction ranged from shock to skepticism questioning the integrity of those at Entangled in Diddy's circle, the exposure sparked debates leaving many pondering the implications of these affiliations in the realms of fame power and spirituality Jake has long been associated with several celebrities and we all know the kind of life Hollywood listers enjoy Lady Dika for some years the former bad boy spitter hasn't been in good books with his ex-boss Diddy and slams him with every chance he gets including this latest drama involving Jake as you may already know it isn't easy for or MCAS to smoothly leave the music industry once fully ingrained in it, one hit song is life-changing, propelling an artist from often impoverished circumstances to the top, top of the world. Even a one-hit wonder can change their family's life off the track's notoriety as a result. Plenty of creatives hang on to the music industry far after their relevance has passed, praying that they can recreate that musical magic their home social circle and way of life become ingrained in grandiosity, however rate. Her Mace is a rare exception to this standard. Merely two years after his hit studio album Harlem World, he famously retired from hip-hop to pursue a calling from God. Even if the world was screaming out the hook to feel so good, the New York Rays personality wasn't feeling it he dropped it all to. Become an ordained minister while continuing his studies at Clark Atlanta University during an interview with funk master Flex, he announced his retirement stating, I told everyone that I don't plan to be. Here for long, I plan to use rap as a stepping stone. He continued it. Takes a great person to walk away from money when my whole heart isn't in it. I can't do it however Maz's departure from hip-hop had been in the works for a long time time. He spent his adolescent years in the Bronx after being born in. Jacksonville, however, his mother sent him back to Jacksonville after he began getting in trouble in the streets. While living in Jacksonville as a teenager, he began attending church. He wouldn't spend much. 
time back in Florida, returning to New York by the time he was 15, however. It was enough time for Mace to be influenced by the Christian lifestyle he was entrenched into like many other MCs Mace's teenage aspirations, revolved around the world of sports after returning to New York Heat. Pursued a career as a B basketball player, he was the Stero guard at Manhattan Center High School in the early 1990s. However, he would eventually pivot into a rapper career when he realized he wouldn't make it to the NBA. His big break in the industry came in 1996 when he began rapping for Diddy at the Hard Rock Cafe shortly after he would sign a $250,000 deal with Bad Boy Records. By the time he was ready to retire, May's inscribed deal for Bad Boy Records would be the Source of beef between the two MCS the rapper felt that his contractual obligations to the label still existed after his retirement, which caused him to construct a series of subtle disses at Diddy. However, the two would eventually reconcile their differences, that is, until the 2020 Grammys after receiving the Icon Award, he blasted the Grammys he boldly stated, truth be told, Hip-hop has never been respected by the Grammys. Black music has never been respected by the Grammys, to the point that it should be after his speech made. Would reignite his opinions on Diddy's treatment of his artists under Bad Boy Records, he told Vibe, your past business practices knowingly have continued purposely starve your artist and been extremely unfair to the vet. Rye, same artist that helped you obtain that Icon Award on the iconic Bad Boy label, while Diddy remained silent for a long time, regarding the beef he eventually came out in 2022 to defend his name on The Breakfast Club, he accused Mace of being a fake pastor who went and conned people. Lastly, he claimed that Mace owed him $3 million even after Mace retired from the hip-hop industry to pursue a religious career in ministry. He straddled between being a rapper and a pastor five years after his supposed rap. Retirement, he returned with a 2005 self-explanatory welcome back. However, he hasn't released a solo project since then, outside the occasional release of a new single or a feature. Ma's recent life has been focused on moving forward with his religious relationship in 2021. Became the head of the Gathering Oasis Church. In addition, Cameron and Mace recently rekindled their relationship as co-hosts on the It Is What It Is sports talk show for years. The rapper has remained passionate about religion. Use matters, but still finds time to critique those he feels are in the wrong like Diddy, and now T.D. Jakes' fern friend rapper Cameron in the recent past doubted Maz's spiritual alignment, but he has since had a change of heart and respects it back in 2017 Cameron went hard on me. During an Instagram live session saying, see, that's what Ma did, Mace went really wild. Mace said, you know what I'm going to just start saying, I'm in church. Mace took it too far, though started preaching and all that's ISA. E? What he was doing with that, he's like, you know what, ain't going to miffing harass me if I'm in church, that's what Mace did, he said, yeah, they can't beef with me, they can't ask me for nothing, I'm gonna throw on the Reverend Run Collar and get the F out of here, F that, but Cam switched gears in the middle of his rant, adding that now he realizes is all of the pressure the Bad Boy Records rap star had with so much money at such a young age, and it makes sense to him, he explained, can't even get mad. Mm. At Mace, you know why, let me tell you something, I used to be mad at Mace because I was younger than Mace, but I know in 28, 29, 30 that can't handle having $10 million that Aunt Macy was 22 years old with $10 million, my N he went triple platinum when he was 21 years old, my N, that's a lot to handle these days, the two are some of the best buddies in the game, despite occasionally ruffling each other's feathers for years now, Jake has been in the spotlight for both his teachings and his lifestyle with thousands. And if not millions of people asking why did Bishop T.D. Jake proclaim that he now has a continuously evolving understanding of homosexuality while the Bible he preaches from is apparent on this lifestyle? And why does the pastor say that those who live this life should find a church that is right for them? Jake is the founder and senior pastor of the Potter's House in Dallas, one of the largest churches in the nation in 1999. The New York Times named Jake, one of the top five evangelists most free. When least cited by scholars, theologians, and evangelical leaders to step up to the international pulpit behind the Reverend Billy Graham, also in 2001 Time magazine named him America's best preacher.